In this video lecture, we're going to discuss entropy, microstates, and probability. And we're going to describe probabilistically why high entropy states are more likely, why particles are going to be distributed in more random fashion rather than uh, being more uh, being distributed in a more organized manner. So why things would tend to go towards disorder rather than towards order. So we're going to prob use probability to describe why things tend to gain disorder. So I have this container over here and this container has two sides. One is the left hand side and the other one is the right hand side. And there are eight possible positions where uh, particles could exist. So I've simplified uh, my container. There are only eight possible positions in the container. In reality, they're going to be infinite possible positions where particles could exist. But uh, in our container, you just have a total of eight different possible positions. And the container has two sides. One is the left hand side and the other one is a right hand side and i have four particles all are different colored one is yellow the other one is green blue and then i have a red particle and i'm going to try and place these particles in this container and i'm going to see the, the different arrangements that i can come up with the different arrangements are called microstates so i've drawn these microstates over here and these microstates show all the possible arrangements of these particles so i have this first microstate over here where all the four particles are on the left hand side so there's only only one microstate where all four pass, uh, particles are on the left hand side so so that that's only one event then i'm going to try and place the particles three on the left hand side and one on the right hand side and i'm going to come up with the number with the, how many number of microstates can i come up with so so there there are three particles on one side one particle on the right hand side so there are four possible arrangements in which particles could exist in such a manner so so there are a total of four possible arrangements. The third microstate is that I want two particles on one side and two particles on the other side. And if I uh, uh, make the uh, arrangements, there are six possible microstates where these particles could arrange in that manner. Two particles on one side and two particles on the other side. So I have six possible arrangements in which the particles could be equally divided between the two sides. Uh, the f over here I have uh, three particles on the right hand side and one particle on the left hand side and the total number of microstates that I, I could come up with there are a total of four microstates so this arrangement three on one side and one on the other side there are four possible arrangements and then I can have four particles on the right hand side so there's only one possible arrangement one possible microstate for that so these are the total number of microstates that the particles could exist in. So now I'm going to I'm going to calculate probabilities of having each microstate. So starting with the first one, four particles on the left hand side. So there's only one possibility, and the total number of events that I have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So out of sixteen possibilities there is a chance of only one one out of 16 could have a possible arrangement like the one shown over here then i can i would have this probability i'm going to try and figure out the probability of having three particles on one side and one particle on the other side so the total number of possibilities for this is four out of 16. Then I'm going to try and calculate the probability of having two particles on either side uh, on the board. Two particles on the left hand side and two particles on the right hand side. And the total number of events is six. So, so based on the probability, I would have 16 events uh, in total. And six out of those 16 events are going to give me that result. Then I have uh, the third possibility of having one particle on the left hand side and three particles on the right hand side. And again, there are four events that would produce that. So it's four out of... 16 and then I have this last option where I have four particles on the right hand side and the number of events is just one So that's one out of 16 now if you look at the probability of the events then you would notice that uh, the highest probability of uh, Of the particles arrangement is this one six out of 16. So the highest Probability goes to the particles with the most disorderly arrangement where the particles are divided equally between the two sides so so probabilistically uh, the arrangement of the particles would tend towards the more disordered side they're going to have a higher probability and the more ordered uh, arrangement is going to have a very very low probability 
so this is why because uh, the particles uh, this is the reason why particles have a higher probability of being arranged in a more disorderly manner so if you keep on increasing the number of particles the probability of having the most disordered arrangement would ha would be the highest so you can do this with eight particles you can increase the number of positions so you can keep on doing that the number of microstates would keep on increasing but the state in which the particles are most disorderly that state is going to have the highest probability and this is shown in this example over here this state over here has the highest prob probability and the state with the most ordered arrangement has the lowest probability now to sum this up uh, low entropy states the one that is shown over here has a very low probability whereas the high entropy state where the particles are more distributed uh, they have a very high probability so this is why things would go from low entropy and they tend to go towards high entropy so things like to gain disorder or they like to gain entropy so this is the example that we did previously as well so so this state achieving this state has a very high probability compared to achieving this state over here so things would tend to these these uh, particles in this glass jar they would tend to move towards high entropy because having high entropy also has a very very high probability and as the number of particles keep on increasing the probability of attaining the high entropy state becomes greater and greater and the probability of attaining the low entropy state becomes lesser and lesser so as the number of particles and as uh, the number of possible positions keep on increasing uh, the low entropy state the probability of achieving the low entropy state becomes lesser and lesser and the probability of achieving the high entropy state becomes greater and greater